Dead Space. We're working on the achievements. Patient on the loose. Double A gamer for life. Okay. Um, Dead Space 1, Dead Space 2, whatever. Uh, the Dead Space games in general, all of them, have quite a bit of uh, packs on the marketplace. And it will make your life so, so much easier if you go look through some of the packs and the weapons and suits and all that. And throughout Dead Space 1, through, I couldn't set it enough of times that go to the marketplace, check out the packs. I mean, especially now, they're very cheap and they're going to make your gaming experience so much easier. Okay, so at the end of Chapter 1, uh, we got a little bit of a boss battle coming up, but you finally hit the store and everything that you purchased from your packs are here. These are all the weapons in there. Okay, my main weapons, uh, the bloody Air Force gun, uh, plasma cutter, pulse rifle, and the line gun are my main weapons. Now, throughout all the achievement videos, uh, we need to get a certain amount of kills with the mine thrower and the flame thrower and the contact beam and uh, almost every weapon has got some kind of achievement as far as uh, like the javelin and then the uh, other one the seeker rifle you gotta shoot a stalker in a zoom mode or something like that but there's quite a few achievements um, like 43 achievements that's related to the game and that's just playing it on easy there was only one achievement that uh, you couldn't get till you did a second playthrough and that's uh, doing the depress basically shooting the the breakable glass and sucking the enemies out there's just not enough to do it in one time through the game so you have to that achievement will come through a second playthrough whether you're on hardcore or zealot or whatever the situation may be okay so Take a little time, look at the marketplace. Uh, these suits are a lot better than anything that you're gonna have. Uh, the upgraded uh, stasis and 15 slots. When you first start out, you only have 10. And then uh, all these suits that you buy only have 15. You're not gonna be able to get 25 until chapter 11 when you buy the advanced suit. And that's its own achievement. But uh, this is still pretty good. I mean, if you didn't have these packs, you'd have to buy every weapon and uh, every suit that came along. And you'd literally have to play the game three, four times through it just to get all the power nodes and all that. But anyway, that's my first suit. Uh, each suit kind of gives you a little bit of bonus. Uh, I always go for whatever upgrade you get with the stasis. I mean, you're basically starting off without nothing. The suit's not upgraded, you know, so any bonus you can get with stasis will help, especially with the boss battle that's coming up. But uh, that's our first suit. And like I said, uh, all these weapons are basically off the DLC packs that I purchased. I cannot tell you the name of them, but. They will definitely make your life a lot easier for sure. All this stuff you'd have to buy as you progress through the game, leaving you very little money the first time through to buy power nodes. So anyway, that's our first suit. When you get out of the menu, you'll get your achievement. Nice. So uh, it definitely make uh, the boss battle that's coming up a lot easier. We'll see you on the next one. Hope you're liking the videos.